So, this is the chatterbox. I've just got to a, quite a milestone with this first prototype in that um, all my initial controls are working. Um, so, it, it seemed a good time to uh, just quick video on uh, what it's all about and where I'm up to. Um, the idea came from a... Uh, Electronics Magazine article I first saw years back uh, in Wireless World. I was still at school. Uh, December 1978, January 1979, this, the chatterbox. And very much like you've just seen, um, joystick. This one has touch switches and uh, a pot for pitch. Uh, all built around analog circuitry with a few CMOS chips for the touch switches and the noise generator um, and op amp based filters and I thought it might be fun to try and re-implement it using an ESP32 and uh, I've also got an external digital analog converter uh, this DAC here a 1334 um, I'll put links below um, so, uh, this is very much the first prototype. Um, I do, the, the core of the system is pretty much the original chatterbox, but implemented with an ESP32. Where I've got to so far is all the controls work, I've got the filters, it's doing something. There's an awful lot of um, finesse needed next. And... Things like the the um, the filter algorithms, uh, but so anyway, just to go back to that, I'm doing it all on the um, using the Arduino IDE onto the ESP32, which is very straightforward. Um, this is the block diagram. Um, this. All this material's up on GitHub, so if you want a closer look, it's up there. Um, so, two sound sources, one a wavetable oscillator, the other a noise generator. The wavetable oscillator, um, two controls, pitch and waveform. Um, very hard to do single-handedly, this. <laughs> oh. And that waveform there is an approximation of um, what the human larynx does, which is that kind of a waveform. Uh, pitch, as you'd expect. And then the wave shape varies between that which corresponds to the how how open your larynx is how, how much of the time your larynx is open uh, the, that's the waveform that the original chatterbox design uses and it's pretty much borne out by the other stuff in the liter literature I found so that's a wave table based oscillator uh, also, a noise oscillator that's, I've simply got that as using um, C's built in random number generator. Um, these three switches here are also handled by the noise generator. Noise goes in to a four mount filter. These are all high pass filters uh, with with frequencies that are intended to correspond to these sounds. These little shapes here are effectively envelope generators and voltage control amplifiers. So when I push a switch, it's uh, amplifying the noise signal. Uh, 10 milliseconds attack, however long I sustain it for, 10 milliseconds decay. The same goes for the voiced, which is up there. The sound from the wavetable oscillator goes to another of these switches. 
these green things here are my switches. And so when I press that, that one, it's taking the sound from the wavetable, pumping it out here. And at the moment, it's quite arbitrary the way I've got it set up. Um, I've got two main four-man filters that are correspond to... Um, I think the main ones are pretty much um, your throat and your mouth. So I've got two of these set up as bandpass filters, which are hooked up to this joystick. So... Um, for different pitches and different larynx shapes and also the the noise generator is also going through another switch this one straight into that filter chain All the things like the levels inside, I've got to get set up properly. Um, that's the joystick, and it's controlling that filter there and that filter there. There are four mount ones that are bandpass. At the moment, I've got one extra filter um, with its cutoff frequency and Q. It's a low pass filter, and it's attached to these two potentiometers here. That. Uh, Q and frequency and it's in line with these ones so um, and yeah so that's my provisional block diagram and so now I just need a lot of trial and error with this to get all the levels right I had one little problem just now where uh, there's something I've changed by um, I did have the sample rate at 22050 um, hertz, um, half CD quality, but uh, speech only goes up to 8 kilohertz generally, the, the sound normal speech. So that was comfortable. And, um, but I was, getting, I was getting some bad... Uh, artifacts appearing on it so I've dropped the the sample rate down to 16 kilohertz um, so it now works but uh, and it's eight, 8 kilohertz is the top frequency so it's still within a reasonable range but I have a feeling it's just a, a mistake I've made in the software that um, I've got something not quite right there's also an awful lot of optimizations I can do um, I'm using an off-the-shelf state variable filter for these, um, the two four-mount filters, this low-pass filter that, well, everything goes through these two, uh, and the same for these, the, um, the fricative sounds, these sibilants here. That one you can barely hear, uh, probably because of this filter's... Down. Low Q, high frequency. Oh, there we go, yeah. I suppose the challenge will be for it to get to get it to say its name. Um, so anyway, that's where I'm up to. The codes are all up on GitHub. Um, uh, anything notable here? I'm using um, float values at the moment. I have a horrible feeling that the... Uh, I used a, a state variable filter that I found online that I have a feeling is using doubles, which is probably quite a... could be a performance hit. There's an awful lot of optimizations I need to do. It's quite quick and dirty. Um, I've got two in the... These ESP32s have got two, two processors available. So I've got two main threads going on this. One that's controlling all the inputs, that's red, 
relatively rarely and the other one that's reading from reading from the wavetable and the noise and doing the filters in well at the at the timing governed by the digital analog converter so um the first one one control 